Hey guys, today we have with us Nikin Mohan James, the head of support and training at FEDS. So Nikin, if we somehow manage to travel back through time with one of our new age drone payloads, like the H20T for example, what would his reaction be? Back then we had drones which we had to build from scratch, you know, like we had to assemble uh, assemble everything from the motor, from the airframe, from the cameras, from gimbals. Everything has to be assembled from various uh, parts, you know, like building a rocket. With H20T, if I get got a H20T, I first of all, I will not believe uh, this can do so much things on a small payload. So uh, it would have been beyond my ima imagination. With M600, we had 20 tasks to perform a flight. Whereas in with H20T with M300, we are left with only one or two tasks to uh, to complete or proceed with the mission. So it's a significant improvement in uh, time-wise. Even transporting the drone is uh, very very uh, easy and. So, in, for example, before we had to, you can carry only one M300, one M600 in a car. Now, in the same car, we, we carry four or five M6, M300s. So, it's it's a significant improvement. So the, the and it's it's amazing that DJI ha, has integrated all these functionalities into a smaller, lighter payload, and without losing the quality of the results. One of the most uh, interesting feature or the most useful feature is uh, temperature alert uh, feature in the H20T. So, which uh, enables us to, when we do a live inspection, so if there is a temperature value which are beyond uh, normal, so we can set certain degrees of temperature uh, where the drone should give us an alert. So. When a pilot uh, or an operator flies over a panel and then when he, when, visually he may not see it, but when it passes over and if the temperature is above normal uh, values, the, the, the H20T can or the remote operator can get an alert saying that uh, the particular area has very high temperature. So this is uh, very useful uh, when we do uh, inspections. And what are the deliverables you can provide with the H20T? So the deliverables will be uh, orthomosaic of a thermal uh, uh, imagery. So we can have a complete, a full uh, orthomosaic thermal map of a very large site in one single image. So. That's one thing and with our AI uh, um, softwares, we can pinpoint which location and we can also overlay these uh, thermal images on, on an orthomosaic uh, visual image. What's the ingress protection level? Yeah, the H20T has an uh, IP44 uh, rating. So which means it can uh, sustain slight rain and some some level of dust. So also uh, we have to make sure the the connectors are clean and if if you are if you happens to be flying in a slight rain or a very dusty environment, just make sure we have we just clean the connectors properly before doing the next flight. That's it. What's the difference between a spot meter and area measurement? Which situation would they be used for? So, uh, spot meter in H20T uh, is to measure temperature on a particular spot. So, that will give you, say, if, if you are doing uh, a solar panel inspection or power line inspection, in one touch, 
of the screen you can get the temperature of uh, that particular point so in area measurement you just draw a, a rectangle o over the screen which gives you a higher uh, temperature and the lowest temperature in that particular area so uh, this is much useful when we do uh, uh, power line inspections so where we have an insulator uh, which can have a hot spot and a cold spot so uh, so the hot spot will be definitely shown in in a red dot and the cold spot will be in a blue spot so uh, to quickly identify if there is a hot spot and the temperature the drone the, the camera automatically or the system automatically points the hottest uh, uh, point from the image can i take a still photo while recording a video yes uh, it is possible with the newer version uh, we can still take pictures while recording video are there different versions of Zenmuse H20T with different focal length options? What is the focal length of its thermal camera? So currently H20T comes with uh, one focal length uh, camera uh, lens which is 13.5 mm. Uh, so this is an optimal uh, focal length which can be used uh, for wide range of applications. So, so 13.5 is good enough for most of the inspections. So earlier versions had uh, three different focal lengths. So, um, but uh, if uh, that was that was not much useful uh, in older uh, generation cameras. But uh, with H20T 13.5 millimeter serves you for all the applications. What is the accuracy of temperature measurements of H20T? Yeah, the H20T is accuracy is about plus or minus 2 degrees Celsius. So, yeah. What is flat field calibration or FFC in H20T? Do you use that during your solar panel inspection? Yes. Uh, FFC is uh, absolutely necessary when we do uh, any not only for solar panel inspection any thermal inspections when we do we do an FFC it's just one click of a button and then the camera calibrates uh, all its parameter uh, the, for, the, with the surrounding temperatures and all that and also uh, there are some uh, something goes in the background which uh, you know calibrates the camera for a proper accurate reading so without ffc we may we may get inaccuracies in in the reading so ffc is uh, required thank you so much for coming down to the tdc studios naked um, if we have any more questions we'll be sure to track you down and bother you with them no problem